All right, so I'm just out here for my, I shouldn't say nightly, but uh, my evening walk. Um, it's actually quite nice out. I have shorts on. Um, I was at practice today. I already had a workout. I'm a little bit tired from that, but uh, came out here to make a video on uh, walking and its benefits for seniors. So I think seniors would be, not that everybody wouldn't benefit from it, but I think seniors would be the biggest demographic or the demographic that would benefit the most from more walking. Uh, too often as we get older, I've seen it my grandparents, especially my grandfather. Um, seniors get older and they get very sedentary. Uh, they don't do a whole lot. I love seeing seniors out golfing and more specifically walking the golf course, not riding in a cart. Um, so walking is a great way to do that. It doesn't put a lot of stress in the body, um, especially if you have injuries or conditions that uh, make it painful to run. So walking is a lot better in that sense. It's very leisurely. You can go out and enjoy the stars like I'm doing right now, or uh, you can go out and look at the sunset. But uh, that's why that's why I love walking for seniors. But there's also some direct health benefits. Um, osteoporosis is a very common condition present seniors, and walking will help reduce the risk or possibility of that. Uh, it helps strengthen the bones, helps strengthen tendons and muscle tissue. Also, it can help uh, with some diabetic. Uh, the, reducing the chance of diabetes uh, can help lower your blood sugar and A1C, uh, reducing the chance of type 2 diabetes. Also has a lot of good benefits for the heart and uh, the cardiovascular system. You can choose to walk at a nice leisurely pace as I am right now, or you can walk at a uh, faster or brisk pace, um, stimulate a little bit more of the cardiovascular system. And uh, it just depends on what your goals are. Uh, there's also mental benefits to it. Uh, walking can be very peaceful, especially after a stressful day. Um, and it can help reduce depression, anxiety, and has a lot of hormonal benefits and neurotransmitters as well. So. I'll go over the different kinds of walking. As you can see right now, I'm just kind of strolling along at a comfortable pace here, uh, which is my favorite thing to do. Because when I walk, I listen to music, or I, and or, I look up at the stars, the sunset, or whatever it would be. I'm not a huge morning guy, so I don't really like uh, walking in the morning. Uh, I'm not usually up at that hour, but, uh, you can walk at a nice normal pace like this. You can walk a lot faster at a more brisk pace to elevate your heart rate, if that's something you're comfortable with. You can also do different exercises while walking. You can do anything from bicep curls, just like this, to lateral raises, to shoulder presses over the head. You can also do arm circles while you walk. That's something that we'll do sometimes, stretching out. You can do hip turns, as I'm doing now. Sorry, I'm trying to show up on camera. Hip turns. Another thing I recommend is doing high knees. This will be slower, but walking and raising your knees simultaneously. You can also do what's called an A-step, or an A-skip. Go very fast back and forth. Pressing down on the ground each time, raising the knees as fast as you can. That's, that would be a little bit more advanced than I would recommend for most senior populations. Um, and then finally, you can do a B skip or a B step where you're extending your leg and straightening it as you're walking. Those are more training techniques for running, but uh, they're also good to diversify your workout a little bit if uh, that's something you're comfortable with. Also, what I love about walking is that all you need, you don't even really need a pair of shoes, but all you need is a pair of shoes and you can just go outside wherever. Just walk on the sidewalk. I'm just walking in my neighborhood right now. 
You can go walk on a treadmill if that's what you like more. Um, and it just doesn't have the same stress on your body as running does. And as you get older, that's, that's very important. Uh, it'll reduce the risk of injury. The last thing we want is injury because that will keep us more sedentary. So the whole point is to get moving, burn some calories, because a lot of older people start to gain weight. Once they stop working, they stop moving, everything just kind of goes downhill from there. So walking is very important and can, can help keep that weight off by burning some extra calories. And it's just a, you know, I'll touch on the mental part. It's a good thing to get into a habit of going for a nice walk. I get a lot of walking in golf and it just kind of helps clear my mind. If I had a bad shot, then I just go for a walk. I'll look out at the course, look out at the sights, whether it be at sunset or whatnot, and uh, talk with my friends. It can be social as well. You can, you don't have to walk by yourself. I prefer to walk by myself or if I'm, that's what I'm doing for exercise. But uh, you can also walk with some friends. My mom does that. She goes out and walks with her girlfriends. So um, overall, there's just so many different benefits to walking that it's just, it's so simple. Uh, there's no real financial cost to it. And uh, it just promotes an overall better lifestyle, especially for um, our older population who I think will benefit from it the most. So that's walking summed up in a nutshell.